cards, host the Dodgers, and there he is. Bottom of one, though, Ray Lankford with a runner on first and no score facing Dave Malicki, and that's going to send Matt Luke all the way back to the wall and into the wall. That's gone. His 14th of the year. He was two for four with a couple RBI cards up two zip. Bottom two now, a man on for the newcomer, Pat Kelly. And the power is contagious to almost the same spot as first National League homer. It's 4 nothing cards. Malicki would only last three and two-thirds, and Tommy Lasorda not enjoying himself. Dodgers coming back, though, in the eighth. One on for Gary Sheffield, and that is gone. He takes Jeff Brantley deep to left, so he's now reached base in 30 straight games, and we're tied at eight. The Cardinals have blown a five-run lead. Two batters later, Matt Luke with a man on. Smashes this one out of here. Brantley taken deep again as Tony La Russa now stunned and the Dodgers lead 10-8 on Luke's fifth home run of the year after a Ray Langford single. Now McGuire comes to the plate as the tying run in the bottom of the eighth and you can see the fans are pumped. The Dodgers acquired Jeff Shaw for just this kind of situation. And he blows the pitch by McGuire ending the threat. McGuire 0 for 4 on the day as the Dodgers rallied past the Cardinals as L.A. tied a season high with four home runs and McGuire. At the plate, it's Todd Zeal off Mark Clark. His 11th of the year goes two for three in the game, 2-1 Marlins. Top of the eighth, Cubs down a run. Sa Sa Sammy Sosa at the plate and Mike Manti. Yeah, get him. We go to the top of the ninth, 2-1 Marlins. Pinch hitter Tyler Houston and Manti. Houston. In his last three outings, Manti's last 10 outs have been recorded by way of strikeout. Marlins 2-1 winners. Brian Meadows pitching seven strong to win his fifth straight decision. Todd Dunwoody had his 16th multi-hit game. Oh, he's never played more than 144 games in his big league career. Top of two, scoreless. First and second for the Yanks and Scott Brocious. Off Tony Phillips' glove. Jay's second error of the game. Yanks up, one love. Top of five, Paul O'Neill at third. Tino to right. Jose. Fifth error of the year for Jose. The Blue Jays third of the game. Yanks up, 2-1. Bottom five. Jays down, 3-1. El Duque. Strikes out Sean Green. El Duque wins seven. Meanwhile, Bernie. That's a Yankee cranky batting cleanup. Solo shot. He was three for five, batting 358. Top of the eighth, and the Yanks load the bases. And Tim Raines says, Take that. Grand slam. Six career. Yanks win 10 3. They haven't lost three in a row since the first three games of the season. They're six. Tigers, top of the fourth. Tigers up 3 2. Two outs. Second and third, and Donnie Sadler doink. First major league home run for the Red Sox second base prospect. They lead 5-3. Next batter, Darren Lewis. You go back, Jack. Do it again. Lewis is fifth. Sox lead 6-3. After Rocky Midray Cummings, Frank Castillo done for the night. Enter Dean Crow and enter Nomar. Long gone and hard to find. Great head of hair and his 50th career home run. Meanwhile, closing time. Mo. Gone! 25th of the year. Red Sox. Two outs. They hit four homers. Four. And then they ran into their own kryptonite, the San Diego Padres, who promptly clubbed a team record six homers, beating the Reds 13 to three, and that's nothing new. The Padres have dominated the season series, winning nine of the last ten meetings. Saturday's rematch, Synergy Field. Pete Harnish facing Tony Gwynn, runner at second, top of the third, scoreless. And TG, you the man. Single into right. Gilby Overis coming in. Gwynn needs one more hit to tie Frankie Frisch for 30th on the all-time hit list. one nothing pods. And then Greg Vaughn off Harnish in the fourth. His 33rd of the year. Seven hits in his last three games. Pods up 2 nothing. Bottom of the six, 2-1 pods. Tying run at third. One out. And Hamilton facing Eddie Tobinsey. Gets him down swinging. Next batter, Paul Canerco. Grounder up the middle. And Varis. Stop and throw, there you go. Bottom of the eighth, tying run on third. Trevor Hoffman brought in to face Tobinze, who was six for 11 against Hoffman lifetime. First pitch, grounder to short. Hoffman holds on for his 29th straight save this season, 37th overall. Greg Vaughn hit his third homer in two nights. Shouldn't have to be doing that if it's built right. Top of the second, Strohs flashing some leather. Billy Spires making the grab on Stan Javier. Top of the fourth, still scoreless, J.T. Snow. The bomb to center field. 
field. Looks like a homer. Back towards the flower, Bounces man. back into this play. Ball, Snow ball, pulls up at play. second. Another look, and the ball clearly hits the flower bed over the wall. Snow may have been robbed as umpire Larry Vanover ruled it. Hit the fence and came back. Snow says, eh. bottom of the eighth. Astros leading 3-2, and Derek Bell already hit his 14th home run of the sixth inning, and this one finds the gap. Spires coming home. Sean Bergman goes seven strong innings. Giants, well, they've lost seven of eight. Score two on for Yamil Benitez. Grounder up the middle, but Kurt Abbott. Dive, throw, and get, keeping the game scoreless through four. In the six, Diamondbacks up one nothing when Dante Bichette. Mama. Opposite way, 13th home run of the year. Vinny Castilla clubbed his 30th, tying the game at one. Diamondbacks up 2-1 with the bases loaded in the bottom of the six when Damian Miller, two for four in the game, and gets the broken bat single. Devon White, Benitez coming home. D-backs, 4-2 winners. Brian Anderson threw seven strong for his first home victory in 10 starts. Diamondbacks have won three straight. Baseball, Juan Gonzalez already with one RBI on the night, his first since the break. Sends one to center, Randy Wynn. Incredibly, that is ruled a hit. And an RBI for Gonzalez. We're tied at six. He now has 103. Rusty Greer scores. After an intentional walk to Will Clark, who went four for four. Von Rodriguez singles to center. Seven, six, Rangers. Irod, three for five, hitting 348. Bottom nine, Devil Rays now with an 8 7 lead. Tom Goodwin on first, and Irod again. What Steven Jenkins is to third eye blind, Yvonne Rodriguez is to the Texas Rangers. Here comes Tom Goodwin, and we're tied at eight to extra innings. Bottom 10, Luis Alisea is clutch and clutches everything in life. The fly to left, Fernando Tatis at third. He will easily score, and the Rangers win. Quinton McCracken, Scottish therapist, his throw's a bit late. The D-Rays have lost 14 of 16. Rookie Jared Washburn on the mound for the Angels, and Joe Carter, the batter, lines one into the Angel dugout and strikes Chuck Finley, who goes down hard. Finley doubles over in pain, would go to the hospital. X-rays were negative. Bottom four. After Finley is taken care of, Finley is again, X-rays were negative. Game tied at two now. Two on for Gary DeSarcina. The single to right, Jim Edmonds scores. Justin Bachman runs through the stop sign. Breaking the law. He's safe. 4-2 Angels. Bottom six, 5-3 Angels. Matt Walbeck, the batter to left. DJ Serhoff comes up throwing. Gary DeSarcina. Called out. Are you kidding me? Terry Collins, Ken Kaiser. Can't believe it. Bottom seven, still 5-3 Anaheim. Bases loaded. Norm! Wild pitch. Dave Holland scores, and the Orioles' nine-game win streak is over. They're 10 wow. in Heartbreak Hotel on a four-game skid. But getting after it here in the first inning, Brian Giles against John Snyder just misses with the foul ball. Next pitch, he crushes it again. But it's foul again. On the 13th pitch of the at-bat, Giles gets all of this one. His first career grand slam, 4-0 Indians in the first. Four for five for Giles, five RBIs. Indians lead 8-0 into the bottom of the fourth. This is history right here. Yep, that's an error for Omar Vizquel. His second of the year, his first in his last 55 games for the Gold Glover. From 8 nothing down, the Sox get to within 8-7. And then Robin Ventura, who had the game-winning homer last night with the base hit here. Ventura, though, is thrown out on a cutoff throw. Sox still score 8 in the fourth. Game tied at 8. Then in the bottom of the seventh, 9-8 Indians until Paul Shuey hits Ray Durham with the bases loaded. Top of the eighth, bases loaded for Kenny Lofton. Indians up 10-9. Lofton with the base hit past Mike Caruso. It scores Giles. It scores Travis Fryman. Tribe goes up 12-9. Lofton 2 for 5 with 3 RBI. Top of the ninth, one man on for Peoria's Jim Tomey, who goes the other way, crushing Brian Ward's pitch. The 25th homer of the year for Tomey. During that left knee, top of the first, strikes out Scott Rowland, who was 0 for 2 today. And John Franco serving a three-game suspension, enjoying the game. Bottom of one, Mike Piazza provides some run support with a two-run blast off of Tyler Green, his 15th of the year for Piazza. 
And that's all Leiter would need. Facing Kevin Sefcik, who was 0 for 2, goes down swinging. Leiter, six innings pitched and four strikeouts. Bottom of four now, still 2-0 Mets. Piazza looking for more offense. And Desi Relaford, though, makes a great backhand stab and gets enough on the throw to get his man. The bottom of six now, Piazza, this time, will not be denied. A solo shot to right, his second of the game. He had three RBIs today, and he leads all active catchers now with 182 home runs. Top eight, watch some great Met defense. Ray Ordonez makes a great sliding backhanded grab and off-balance throw. Robs Greg Jeffries. Watch it again. Ordonez showing why he's a gold glover. He was also one for three with a couple RBI today. Great sparkling defensive play there by Ordonez. And Leiter blanked the Phillies for six innings in his first start since suffering that tendon tear. In his Brewers and Braves, top of five. Kevin Millwood on the hill. Fernando Vina in the house. Fernando Vina out of the house. Fifth of the season, three hits, four ribbies on the night for Vina. 3 nothing Milwaukee. Steve Woodard was perfect through four, but in the bottom of the fifth, Ryan Klesko. Gets the first hit of the night for Atlanta. Klesko going for two. Klesko going for three. No. Marquise Grissom nails him. To Vina, who nails him. Meanwhile, Steve Woodard nails Denny Bautista. Seven Ks, no walks. Mark Wohlers seeing action for the second night in a row. Mike Matheny hits one into the gap in left center. Third double and fourth hit of the night. Seven nothing Milwaukee. Wolers gave up two runs. Pittsburgh in a fracas last night as benches emptied for the third time after Javier Vasquez hit Aramis Ramirez in the sixth inning of Pittsburgh's 5 1 win. The two also had an incident on the bases in the fifth, but both got thrown out after this scene in the sixth. Vasquez on the pitch that started the whole thing. I don't know what he was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. He just came after me, so I said, let's go. Both teams went again tonight. And let's take a look at what happened tonight. Turner Ward, and here's three for five in the game, including this right home run, his fourth line, of the year. And it is gone. Two home nothing run. Pittsburgh. Same inning. In fact, Ward the next man at the plate the for Pittsburgh, and Kevin, Kevin Young. Twentieth homer of the year. It's three nothing it in favor of Pittsburgh. Bottom of the sixth. Back to back Vladimir Guerrero up for Montreal. To Luke Collier. Luke Collier diving gets up over to first in time. Pittsburgh wins it by the final score of 5-2. Lieber retired 19 straight batters. Futuristic game in the kingdom. James Doohan. Scotty throws out the first pitch underhand. Jay Buhner, Ken Griffey Jr. wearing the Mariners promotional futuristic uniforms and the Royals got into the act as well. A-Rod and the Mariners for a while play with their hats on backwards. And look at the new look for Larry Sutton. one pitch to him. Off Ken Cloud and well Junior with the Klingon catch. Rock and Jock softball do rag. Eventually, again, they had to tuck the shirts in and turn the hats around. Meanwhile, Dean Palmer to Rigel 7, his 18th homer of the season. That ties the game of two. We take a quick timeout to check the interplanetary scoreboard. We see Saturn and Pluto locked up in a tight one. Bottom seven, score tied 4 4, two on for A Rod. Well hit. Deep to left, his 29th of the year. The M's lead 7 to 4. Beam me up, Scotty. Uh, don't touch that drink. <laughs> M's win 8 to 5, 6 in a row for the Mariners. What was in that drink? The M's went 0 for 4 with the bases loaded. No score. And Grieve, who goes 2 for 4 in the game, cranks his 13th home run of the year. Oakland was up 3 0 through four innings of play. In the bottom of the seventh, tied at three, Ryan Christensen on second. The pinch hitter, Kevin Mitchell, will single the right. Christensen coming home. Alex Ochoa throwing home a developing situation, and Christensen is out at the plate. Top of the eighth, we're tied at three. Paul Molitor on third for Matt Lawton, who went three for four. Fair ball. Molitor comes in to score, and the Twins win it 4-3. So after closing to within seven games of first, Oakland has now lost two in a row. Twin starter Mike Morgan was a scratch because of a